Hi guys, welcome to Health Matters where we get expert opinions on questions you're wanting to ask healthcare professionals. For our first ever episode, we are in conversation with Dr. Roma Sarnayak, a new age lifestyle medicine physician who counsels people to lead a disease-free healthy life. So if your goal is to imbibe a healthy living this year, pay attention to the tips and tricks that she has for you. So hello ma'am, my first question to you would be, why is knowledge about nutrition important? See, nutrition is something that uh, we generally tend to overlook, especially in our country in India. There are so, so many diseases which are being caused due to a problem with nutrition uh, that may be either undernutrition or overnutrition obviously or even a mix of both so like for example the most common miscon- misconception being you know if someone is obese or overweight then that means he is overnourished which is not the case even obesity comes under malnutrition even a obese person an obese person can be undernourished so many myths around nutrition uh, in our country and uh, knowledge around it is uh, very essential because only if one has the knowledge around what proper nutrition is then only the, these issues nutrition related issues and illnesses can be diagnosed you know what I mean? the cases in india go undiagnosed yeah. right uh, and this is not the case only in India but I would say worldwide there are so many other countries even the most developed countries even they have uh, a part of the population who are uh, lacking knowledge around nutrition I know that good nutrition and uh, regular physical activity habits help us maintain a good health status so the benefits go beyond maintenance of a proper weight uh, proper nutrition reduces the risk of various lifestyle diseases such as heart disease, stroke, diabetes, some cancers, even osteoporosis. It reduces high blood pressure. It helps us lower high cholesterol. It improves our overall well-being. It even improves your ability to fight illnesses uh, through a proper immune system. It improves your ability to recover from illness or injury and increases our energy levels. Good nutrition basically means that our body gets all the nutrients, vitamins, minerals it needs to work at its best. And generally speaking, you should plan your meals um, and snacks to include nutrient-dense foods that are low in calories. So as to, you know, maintain a proper weight and also have all the nutrients and not suffer from any nutrition deficiencies. Mm. And many nutrition-related diseases, conditions, as I said, go undiagnosed due to lack of awareness, especially eating disorders among all age groups. Um, uh, and in India, people are aware about malnutrition. For example, um, stunting, vagera, you know, all the deficiencies. Like we see kids, especially in the rural areas, who are undernourished. People are somewhat aware about that, but people are not aware about eating disorders because, mm. because people are unaware about the symptoms. And this is not just for the kids, this is for the adults, this is for all the age groups. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, that basically sums up why knowledge around nutrition is very essential. Yeah. Moving on to the next question. So how do we actually inculcate healthy eating habits in our lifestyle? This is a very uh, simple but a very complicated question. Uh, so see, in, in uh, having, you know, having a healthy lifestyle, Sounds easy, but it's very difficult to follow a healthy lifestyle 24-7 or every day. So there are so many factors which affect how we live our lives. And they are not limited to personal um, factors. Okay, so so personal, uh, personal factors can be whether or not I am feeling like having something healthy. But then there are other factors such as your environment, such as what are the people around you eating? What is your family eating? Because even if I want to eat something healthy, but the people around me are eating desserts and, you know, some food which is unhealthy, I, I, it's natural for me to be attracted towards that food and not be able to control myself and go for those options. Even architecture plays a very major role, uh, especially for, you know, people who are, for example, people who are not living in their homes, people living at hostels, students, etc. The availability of resources 
what are the food options available because if let's say um, a healthy uh, food uh, shop or supermarket is let's say half an hour walking distance from your place no one's going to go there every day to get healthy food right so people will people tend to uh, choose whatever is the easiest option available to them so architecture availability of resources our environment plays a very big role what i would like to tell all the viewers is that you don't always have to make healthy choices but you have to try your best to make healthy choices majority of the times so you don't have to you know eat healthy 7 days a week but try to go for you know more than 3 or 4 days a week you know aim to eat healthy so that should be the mindset because it is realistic because most of my patients you know what i account sell them on is it's it's not possible it's not humanly possible to eat healthy 24/7 especially in the environment that we live in so what that leads to is lot of guilt disappointment and all together you know it is also shown to you know trigger eating disorders in a few people which can you know, it goes into mental health uh, part psychological issues but then again so yeah the first step will be to know to that we have to make healthy choices as many times as possible and not all the time and it is completely natural to not be able to have control on ourselves a few times and not feel guilty about it mm. after that um a few tips will be you know eat lots of fruits avoid uh, juices and go for whole fruits because then whole fruits have fiber jo fruits ke cover cover hota hai covering skin it has lots of fiber which is essential and all be it healthy or unhealthy all the foods have calories so we are eventually getting calories from all the foods be it apple or be it a burger Okay. What we have to look for is to get maximum nutrients. So if I go for a app, an apple, I'll get the calories, but I'm also getting important nutrients from it. But if I go for a burger, I'm getting calories, but I'm hardly getting any nutrients. So that is how you have to make the food choices. Then apart from that, vegetables, as we all are aware. everyone knows ki vegetables has all the nutrients and minerals all the essential ones so it is very important to include vegetables go for you know always aim to have your your plate should basically look colorful so let's say apple if apples are healthy that does not mean that if i am only surviving on apples i am having good nutrition no apple apple is not having all nutrients right so we have to have variety in our diet we have to have everything in our diet and have a balance of everything so which can be done by you know thinking of your plate like a, it should look like basically like a rainbow it should be colorful it should have some veggies some carbs some proteins some sweets some 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 quantity of sweet is also okay or once in a while so like that then uh, always aim to you know base your meals on whole grains whole grains they are very essential uh, so at least half of the cereals bread pastas you eat should be made from you know whole grains a few tips from me would be like instead of going for white bread go for whole grain bread or brown bread and instead of going for you know rolls and biscuits you can uh, go for these homemade low fat cakes then instead of sugary cereals and regular granola like it all you go for whole grain cereal low fat granola then going for potato or corn chips and you know buttered corn you can go for unbuttered popcorn or unsalted popcorn that will be um, a better option because like sugar even salt is very harmful for us some amount of salt um, salt basically has sodium okay so some amount of sodium is necessary for our diet but then lot of salt is harmful for all of us so yeah then again instead of white pasta and white rice you can go with a uh, whole wheat pasta or brown rice because it has some nutrients and uh, added fiber to it then instead of fried rice or pasta mixes that contain you know uh, high fat sauces you can go with rice or pasta that contain vegetable sauces and whole wheat flour so these are the options you know these are the healthy switches in case of grains then coming to fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables are obviously naturally low in fat they provide a wave, uh, variety and flavor to our diet they also contain necessary fiber vitamins minerals try not to add unneeded fat to vegetables and fruits and this is especially us we all indians 
we tend to overcook vegetables we tend to put so many sauces and spices in the vegetables it has high amount of fat that makes it uh, makes it unhealthy so vegetables are not unhealthy but the way we cook those vegetables makes it unhealthy so this means avoiding margarine butter mayonnaise or sour cream you can use yogurt healthy fats healthy oils or herbs to season instead so for example uh, for, instead of eating fried vegetables served with butter sauces you can go for raw steamed boiled or baked vegetables uh, which can be tossed with small amount of you know olive oil or salt and pepper and things like that then instead of uh, serving fruits with cream cheese or sugary sauces you can serve fresh fruits with small amount of nuts like peanut almond or cashew or peanut butter as well then instead of going for fried potatoes or french fries you can go with baked potatoes or you know white or sweet potatoes you can sweet potatoes are very healthy they have high amount of potassium so you can switch potatoes for sweet, uh, sweet potatoes then uh, talking about beef try to go with low fat and lean cuts of beef and trim off the outside fat before cooking it because the outside fat the skin has lo- loads of loads of fat and no nutrients mm-hmm. so try to uh, trim that and use herbs spices low sodium marinades to season meat then uh, baking or grilling or roasti- roasting will be the healthiest ways to prepare these meats instead of you know um putting loads of oil and frying meat then talking about poultry again chicken breasts are a good choice because they are low fat and high in protein but then again you have to remove the skin because it's high in fat mm-hmm. and um, for the people um, eating non veg food very regularly you have to remove the skin and the visible fat uh, along with the skin there's some visible fat on meat so you can remove that before cooking and one thing to remember will be to always boil the meats and then cook it because there's risk of poisoning uh, by so many bacteria so what we tend to do is generally people who eat meat uh, we get the meat we wash it first and then we cook it yeah. so you what you have to do is get the meat boil it first and throw away the water okay and then cook it you know what i mean okay yeah makes sense this thing that we do not follow and even eggs eggs need to be washed the eggs egg shells they have loads of bacteria and they, they have high risk of poisoning and whenever you wash egg and meat you have to wash your hands these are few things to um, remember then for people who e- eat seafood and fish it's healthy fish is very healthy it's rich in omega 3 fatty acids especially uh, salmon and cold water trout try to eat for those who eat love fish you can have fish almost twice a week because it's really nutritious even the pregnant females they can have fish twice so we but not more than that to avoid mercury poisoning obviously and um, while choosing fish you can you have to choose fish with clean color clean smell clear color i mean and a springy flesh so if a good quality fish isn't available you can go for go with uh, you know frozen fish and to prepare fish you can you should poach steam bake or grill again don't use oil basically there are many uh, non meat protein options as well especially for those who are vegan and vegetarian like dry beans peas lentils they offer us with protein and fiber without cholesterol and fat of meats These are the staple food for people who are vegetarian or vegan, like I told you. And um, you can swap beans for meat in recipes like lasagna or other recipes. So there are many options to prepare it. So yeah, so uh, like for example, I, I I told you how to you know avoid oils and go with baked and grilled options. So you can even for people who eat breaded fish sticks and cakes, whatever you can instead go for you know fresh or frozen fish in canned water and grill it and go for low fat fish mm-hmm. options. Uh, talking about milk, milk is obviously not bad for health, but then again, milk is high in fat. For so so for people who you know regularly consume milk. instead of going for whole milk you can go for non fat or skimmed milk or non dairy milk such as you know uh, almond milk cashew milk oat milk there are many plant based milk options which are sustainable as well uh, these can even be prepared in prepared at home so they don't necessarily have to have uh, loads of preservatives 
so like for example uh, i used to uh, have you know fresh plants with plant based milks when i was in the uk but in india uh, we don't have very fresh options and um, you know they have preservatives so what we do at my home my mom makes plant based milks at home which is very easy actually so if you just google the recipes you can make plant plant based milks at home they are very low in calories and they make you feel full as well so yeah that's one option especially for you know even people with lactose intolerance yeah. so um baki dairy based milk has lots of lactose and there are people who love milk but are intolerant to lactose so for them uh, plant based milk can be a very good option and for ice creams instead of ice creams uh, you know go with frozen yogurt etc you can make fresh fruit yogurts at home one of my tip for this would be you know to avoid reheating oil so what happens is there are different kinds of fats saturated fats unsaturated fats and trans fats so what happens is when we heat oil when we reheat oil for the second time third time fourth time the chemical structure of the oil changes and it turns and the fats turn to trans fats and these trans fats are responsible for blocking our arteries which lead to heart disease if that makes sense so basically avoid reheating of oil and even if you go for a healthier oil option for example if you go with olive oil it does not mean that it is healthy it is just healthier compared to the other oils so if you are consuming olive oil also in excess it is going to cause harm to your body so this is what people need to know you have to keep the oils low irrespective of the kind of oil then um talking about hydration it is very essential to be hydrated um now people tend to you know grab sh- uh, sugar sweetened beverages and cokes and all the soft drinks to when they feel thirsty which we have to avoid because they are loaded they are high in sugars so we have to uh, avoid these sugar uh, sweetened drinks go for water instead and instead of going for fruit juices prefer whole fruits like i told you you can go for you, you know smoothies smoothies are good it has many kind of fruit go like put less sugar in it or don't put put sugar in it but try not to consume these soft drinks they are loaded with sugar which are harmful generally speaking 2 to 3 liters of water each day generally for everyone is uh, recommended nowadays get non stick cooking sprays also so you just have to spray once or twice and it will have just 2 3 calories maximum you don't have to you know load your pan with oils so i think these are a few tips and i think being healthy is more than a diet it's it's a lifestyle so combining a healthy food choices with regular exercise and smart habits is very very important exercise is very crucial everything goes hand in hand so you have to have a proper nutrition you have to rec- exercise regularly some physical activity is necessary along with that a proper sleep routine stress management habits everything go hand in hand okay so everything is important and talking about physical activity i would just like to highlight that you know adults are we as adults should be getting at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise every week and children and teenagers should be getting at least 60 minutes of exercise every day these are the recommendations these are the government and who recommendations which are not uh, followed especially in india they are not followed so i think i think there's lack of awareness as well um, many people who many of my patients and clients they are not even aware uh, that you know there are some guidelines or recommendations ki itta exercise karna hi hai mm-hmm. talking about all this uh, it makes me talk about alcohol intake and smoking as well you have to limit your alcohol intake it is almost it is always best not to uh, consume alcohol but for those who you know consume alcohol you have to limit your intake um there are um, guidelines around alcohol intake as well you have to you can, you can find it on the who website um yeah and try quit try to quit smoking for those who do obviously <laughs> and um when you commit to a healthy lifestyle you can reduce your risk of so many healthy uh, health conditions these include obesity diabetes heart disease cancer and these are so prevalent across the globe so if you're worried try making small changes to your diet and uh, over time talk with your doctor family doctor and or a nutritionist if you have questions and it's always best if you have some support and keep going and i think yeah i think that's actually your question your tips and tricks are really helpful 
if we, we are able to imbibe them in our life i think all of us are going to you know lead a really healthy life as i hope you enjoyed this discussion let us know by liking and sharing the video also if you have any healthcare related questions list them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon so that you are notified every time we upload a new video for more information on healthcare and wellness check out our website www.healthsarthi.com